Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to our home renovation, reno, renovation edition project thing. Today, we're recovering from yesterday's yes. insanity. How, how are you feeling today? I, no, I haven't recovered. We're, we're, we're going to move forward, Bill. <laughs> no time for recovery, just keep moving move forward. forward. Struggle See, through the pain. So yesterday, well, we, the royal we, dog and we, uh, cut the opening for the uh, hallway here. It's going to connect our basements together. Today we're gonna finish up the opening a little bit, get this rubble out of here, the floor, and then we got some lines that gotta get out of the way because they're literally going right through our hallway right now. So what do we got over here? What are these things? These so things. we've got a couple of things here. So we've got, and I think we talked about them before, but we've got, we've got our fresh air here, return, gas lamp for the fireplace and electrical feed for the shop, the sub panel. And then we've got the supply return for the in-floor heat in the great room. So we just need to relocate all of this stuff so that we can uh, get in here. Then we got to knock down these down to about four inches below the floor here. And then we'll go ahead and level out all this sand, put down a vapor barrier, a six mil vapor barrier, and then we'll put down the uh, polystyrene foam. And then that will be ready for the plumbers to come in and put the PEX lines in and uh, for the heat for the floor, and then the, it's ready for the concrete guys to pour. We're getting there. Then we have a room. So what are we, what are we doing first here? Uh, you're going to bust up concrete because I'm done with that BS. <laughs> That's and, on concrete detail too. And I'm just going to do tempor temporary relocations of all this stuff just to get it up so that we can get a walkway through here. Okay, so I'm busting concrete while you're doing yep. fun plumbing and Cut up, shut off the heat to the house because it's, you know. Oh, well, I know. It's November. It's November still. Yeah, it's not January yet. So. All right, so I'm going to go jackhammer time, I guess. Yep. Oh, boy. Now we're going to drain the boiler, get all the water out of the boiler so that when we cut the line open, it doesn't drain out onto the floor. Oh, well, you know. Details. <laughs> Details. <laughs> Is this why I got this job? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's one of them. It's one of them? Okay, I made it.
What? The little white ladder. Is it upstairs? It's probably still outside. I'm gonna do that. Oh, this is nice. They actually walk through here now. It's less of an obstacle course. Oh. All right, one side done. One more. A bigger one. Yeah. And today we learned you can call 911 from your pocket while running a jackhammer. Apparently that's a thing. Take your phones out of your pocket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This thing will not. This thing will throw you around. Really? Throw me around. <laughs> I've never noticed that part. <laughs> it like goes wherever it wants to. Just just let it go. Yep.
finish ammo. Electrician. Look at that doorway. That's pretty. Pretty nice. Did you catch me accidentally jackhammering the floor in here? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, a little dense. We got a little, little chip in the floor now. So the last thing to do is to bust up these columns. Let's take a look at the grain in this uh, concrete here real quick. Oh, look at that. We got a beautiful aggregate in there that has some really nice figure and color. We got some nice blues and reds and yellows and things. You know, the saw was put, cutting pretty good. The, the cut's fairly flat. We do have a little bit of a little oopsie up here, but other than that, that's a beautiful looking slab right there. Good. I'm gonna bust him up further. Let's see if this one a quick pass. Mac. Starting on our uh, lead one now, a little high here, a little low there, so we're gonna just send some over there, and then we'll start doing some real uh, checks to get our grade right. Take some down back. Yeah, I'll fill this out and we can put some in this corner.
So to give you some context as to what's going on here, and I know last time we had the grade stick, there are a lot of questions about how this thing works and how it's set up. So let's just take a quick minute to talk about how we're set up here. So we are trying to match this existing floor, just like we were upstairs. We try to get a seamless transition into the existing house. So our target for our finished height of the floor is right here. And we're pretty much mimicking this exact setup here. So this is an in-floor uh, heated slab. So we have a vapor barrier down here on the ground, which we normally have, but we also have a two inch piece of foam, which is our insulation, and then four inches of the concrete. And that has the uh, PEX tubes in it, which turns the floor into a big radiator. So hot water is pumped through there, the floor gets hot, then everything else is hot. So in floor heat in here, we're doing exactly the same thing in here. So we need our grade height in here to match the bottom of this foam here, because that's where we're gonna lay down, our two inch foam again. So we can use this fancy stick thing with a laser detector on it to, uh, to figure that out. So what Donovan has done here is we have a laser over here in the corner. You can see the laser over there because it's right there. In the rest of the room, you can probably not see a laser, but this thing here can. So how this is set up right now is the bottom of the stick is set to be flush with the bottom of our foam when the laser detector detects the laser. So if I hold it right here at the bottom of the foam, you can hear that kind of constant beep. If you go too high, that's the sound it makes. And then too low, maybe. Am I too, too low? There's some different tones. But with this set to the bottom of that uh, piece of styrofoam, or expanded polystyrene, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can walk through the whole area and you can find where the grade height needs to be. So this is high. What do we have here? Let's see. Oh yeah, let's get a little seat leg. I'm an expert here. So right about there is a finished height. So this little divot right here is a little low. If I come over here into this big mound, obviously I'm too high. So I can work it down and try and find it somewhere right around here. So you can go around with this and you can get your exact heights and you can do samples wherever you want and they'll make sure that this all ends up the same grade and same height that we actually want. So you saw it's outside many videos ago setting the, setting the footings and the walls using this to get it all at the same height and of course it all ends up being level too. So you have the same plane, same level and it's all perfect and uh, that's just a little bit about a grade stick. So we're almost, we're pretty close. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> we're almost there. A little more leveling and digging, and this should be ready to put our foam down. Our vapor barrier and then our foam. Pretty damn close, aren't we? Yeah. It's those escalators, man. How are they doing? I was trying not to put too much in here. made it out. Oh boy. Okay, back we go. This is the fourth. But it's, it's mat size loads. Uh, so you got that kind of Yeah, yeah. That's where that's going. It's not a heaping wheelbarrow load, it's, it's heaping but like below the top still. It isn't flat an inch on the bottom. Uh -huh.
Fuck yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Let's try this for real. <laughs> the zigzag. <laughs> it's slowing down. The underlayment, our uh, plastic and our foam and our pecs and our concrete as we go on top of that. It's Thursday now, the day after, uh, the 18th of November. Don is leaving us. I'm okay. leaving. He's going off to do other things. Yep. And then we'll be back to, between now and Christmas, we'll get the, um, the foam down and then the, the plumbers will come in and put down the pecs. We'll get that poured hopefully before Christmas. Yeah, so we have this little like eight week break here where you're going to do some other stuff. I'm build cabinets. You can go follow some other people for a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, that's going to keep the, uh, the entirety of the house intact through the holidays for us because the next big thing for us with this project that we're going to be doing is a lot of demo. Yep. We're destroying in. the inside of the house to open it up and link our new additions into yep. the existing space. So we're going to put that off until after the holidays. you yeah. got things to do. We have subs that are going to come in and do some of their work. As much as they get done. Some of the stuff. So we have HVAC, which is going to be rerouting that duct in here. And Sooner than later. For some time, hopefully soon, because I'm tired of duck under that duct. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're roughing in for all the duct that's going to go into the sunroom yep. and in here and probably the front, the front yep. addition. Get that done. Plumbers are doing the in-floor for here. Upstairs, the addition on the front and yep. where the stairs used to be. Right, and they're probably actually roughed in for the kitchen sink too. And this, we have a kitchen sink coming soon. Yep. Oh, and then uh, we got like Christians are coming to do a little bit, a few things here and there. Yep, I'll do some stuff for so the, the, the sub underfloor stuff and probably move a couple of things around. And then that middle of January, then we'll we'll actually seal completely seal this section of the house. Of the Mid edition, like, I guess. Mid -edition. Mid -edition. <laughs> you got the original house, you got the edition from 15 years ago in us, mm -hmm. and then the one we're doing now, was we'll completely seal that off so it's completely segregated from the house. And then we'll deck through that, get all the gutting done, and then we'll do all of our big framing to get all of the, you know, tear out all the load bearing so walls. We're going to leave a lot of mess happening uh, when we get back to this. But for the next several videos, it's going to be uh, the subs and whatever else we kind of find that we can do in the interim here. If we have some nice days, we'll probably put that roof on, the front yeah. addition, because it's still too cold for that. So hopefully we'll have a warm day for that. And then uh, we'll have the concrete. We'll get that subbed out too, because I'm not yeah, I'm a not finisher in a, con in, a con in a confined space. So we'll have that done too. So come January, this will be kind of prepped and actually it's be like, usable space. it would be a very usable space. Come January. So that's going to be uh, pretty nice. This is, it's cool though, because like, this is all connected to the house now. And like, ah, I can start to feel it. Yep. It's starting to feel like, oh, this is what's going to be like when we get uh, further along. So that's going to do it for this one. That's going to do it for us for a little bit. And uh, that's, uh, that's it, I guess. I don't know. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Any questions or comments on the home edition or remodel, please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy working or whatever else. Whatever else you do. Whatever else you're doing. I don't know.